Well, this is it, How to Be Inspired by God 2. Um, in the last month, anytime you get inspiration from God that's outside of the Bible, especially, um, you need to test the spirits and see if it's scriptural. And um, if, if you have a bad feeling about it, um, don't do it until you do have a good feeling about it. Uh, sometimes God does tell you stuff that uh, you don't want to hear. Like uh, one time, um, I was going to start a business and I was going to get some business cards. And um, uh, God told me to put Jesus loves you on the back of the cards. And uh, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to be labeled as a Jesus freak at the time. So, uh, I was kind of hesitant about doing it, but I really felt that God wanted me to put that on my business cards. And um, so I did, and um, one, and I gave a business card to somebody, and um, he was leaving him, and uh, he just started crying. And... Um, I uh, went back up to him and um, so, uh, said, well, what's the matter? And uh, he said, did you put that on your business card? And I go, y yes, I did. And he goes, I just asked God if he loved me. So I was his messenger. Until, um, I didn't know it at the time, but I was God's messenger. I'm telling him that God loved him. Um, but do test the spirits. Um, I got in big time trouble by uh, not testing the spirit, and um, I knew it was wrong. But um, Satan even used scripture um, to tell me. That it was okay, God said. Uh, I mean, Satan said, um, "What I've cleansed is cleansed," and I thought that meant that was God telling me, but it was really Satan. And um, so, so I went ahead and did it, and I got in big time trouble for it. Um, so do test the spirits. Um, <clears throat> Another way to, um, if you're hearing something that's, uh, you believe that's not of God, is to say, Satan, you are already defeated in, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, get thee behind me, and um, I resist you, and resist him, and say, I resist you, so you must flee. And uh, ask God to cleanse you of all unrighteousness, for, to forgive you for what you've done, if you did fall into this trap. And uh, ask God to further reveal what he has for you. Um, just... Uh, Again, find a quiet spot, um, pray, start praying, and um, do your best to listen, and um, get rid of all distractions like TV, radio, internet, and just try to listen to God. Um, but do test the spirits, and um, if you feel that um, God wants you to do what you're hearing, uh, do it, even though sometimes you're afraid to. Um, have courage. Um,
what the hell a bee garden? Um, um, I'm talking to you about your men now. This is going to be on my men and women. Yes. Um, women, please let your men be men. Let them be head of the household. And um, I know a lot of men are doesn't take this responsibility seriously. Uh, a lot of men are afraid of being losing you, afraid of um, being put in the doghouse. But uh, please let your men be men. And uh, men, you need to be men. We need to. Um, most of the media tries to make men look stupid and uh, but uh, women are designed to be head of the household um, women if you're single it's best to have a mentor and somebody to uh, help you grow in the Lord if you're married please let Please let your men be men and uh, be head of the household. Men, that doesn't mean that you're not supposed to listen to your women. Wo woman. Women can be very wise at times. And uh, at times you need to listen to your woman. And uh, But... Uh, But the man's word needs to be the final word of the friendly, but uh, that doesn't mean that women, I mean men, sh shouldn't listen to, to their wives. Um, your wives can give you go godly counsel, but uh, it's time for men to be men and... Uh, I know there's very bad uh, cases where men are horrible to their wives. Um, wives uh, doesn't mean that you could sin to please your husband. Um, if you believe with your, what your what your husband is trying to say to you is a sin. You don't you don't have to do it, but um, but you do need to submit to your husband when um, when what he's telling you is not a sin. Um, and just know this that I love you, God loves you, and have a great day.